When capturing landscape photography, sometimes you just can't get it all in one shot. Sometimes the lens just isn't wide enough. Luckily, pro photographer Chris Burkhart captured these photos in New Zealand, and he captured them with the intent of merging them to a panorama here in Lightroom Classic CC. So I can see that he captured about 15 frames with a little bit of overlap in between each one. And now I can go ahead and select all 15, right click, and do a photo merge to panorama, which is also control M on the keyboard. Now this will bring up a preview where you can choose your projection. So for example, cylindrical probably isn't what I want. That's gonna kind of maybe put wrap it around in a circle. Spherical or perspective are usually gonna be the two you want, but I'm just gonna show you what cylindrical looks like. And then we're gonna switch it probably to spherical. Now sometimes you may click on a projection and it may tell you that it, this particular image is not suitable for it. And this is not what I had in mind. So let's switch to spherical and that will give us the better panorama. I'm pretty sure of it. Once it builds that preview, you'll be able to go in and make further adjustments. All right, so it's built the preview and I have the option of doing what I would have always done. I can just crop it and that will give me my panorama. But look at how much space I'm losing. Now this is usually caused by, for example, not shooting with a tripod. However, using Lightroom Classic CC and the new boundary warp, I don't have to give up that extra space. I can actually just drag the slider to warp the image into the existing space, taking advantage of all the detail and all that photography that's just waiting to happen. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click Merge. And what that will do is start a background process where it merges a new panorama, a new RAW file in the background and places it in the same collection or folder that you were working from, right next to the original photos. From there, you can make any adjustments or edits that you want. And here's the new high resolution DNG RAW file that it created. So I can pop over to the develop module where I can continue to enhance this photo and make it better. 